but I never found a way to make that. I'll answer you really honestly here. Um, どうも、泉圭介です。で、瀬戸名君です。瀬戸名君。はい。これ何から話していいかな。これ、これから見せるよ。す、これね。皆さんね、覚えてますかね。ギャラが来たよ。ペンテロだよ。<笑>チェックインするよ。今回ね、ちょっといろいろあって、本当にいろいろあって、<笑>このね、ペイアンドテラーのこのお二人とね、会ってね、話をね、することができたわけですよ。すごい。すごい。やばい。インタビュー撮らせていただくにあたって、このペイアンドテラー、このお二人の漁師だけではなく、そのいろんな各種方面のいろんな方々であったり、で今回のマジックランド様で撮影させていただきました、これ動画の説明欄にこれ、YouTube チャンネルとね、あの、サイトのね、リンク貼っておきます。本当にね、皆さんありがとうございました。でね最初にちょっと断っておきたいのがちょっと物足りなく感じるかもしれないですあのお二人はね何年も何年もこうやっているわけで、はい、いろんな人がもう質問しているわけですよでそれらも全てもう記事になっているしググったら動画でも出てくるしもういいでしょみたいなそう,そうもうイージーな質問を一切しないっていうのを大前提に質問を3つ選んで聞きました、はい、でその質問っていうのがもしかしたらなんでこんなこと聞くのって思ったり退屈だったりうーんってちょっともしかしたら思うかもしれないんだけれども一応こういう背景があって聞いた見方によってはかなり有益なんじゃないかなと思うわけですよでもう僕はもうド緊張しまくってもう全然ダメだったんだけれどももう本当にあれがあれがね限界だよ<笑><笑>本当にもう<笑>すごく緊張したんだからでね質問なんだけれどもまず一つがペアンドテラーのお墓にこの予言が書かれているのは本当かっていうえそうペアノテラもすでにお墓があるでお墓があって、はい、でそこにねカードがね載ってあるらしいのよ、えー、<笑>それって本当なのっていうでもう一個がこのキャリア40年の中でこの振り返った時にねプロとしてのキャリアを振り返った時に一番の決断は何か一番やってよかった決断は何か、うん、3つ目の質問が一般人にマジック見してって言われたら何するかでねこれどういうことかっていうとアレックス・エルムズレーって言うじゃんエルムズレーっていっぱいマジック考えていっぱい発表しているのにかかわらず一般人の人からマジックやってって言われたら自分の作品じゃなくてアンビシャスカードやるっていうのねでそれも決めてるらしいのよじゃあペアのテラーは何やるのっていうのが知りたいっていうのでちょっと友達からリクエストでちょっとこのね3つの質問をねちょっと聞いてきましたいやねじゃあ瀬戸田君インタビュー見ますか見ますここにペアンドテラーのお二人がいらっしゃいますよ。At Forest Lawn, which is a big cemetery in Hollywood, California,、um, we got the idea of doing a thing called the Eternal Card Trick.、Uh, it was actually Teller's idea. And we don't actually have a gravestone because that would not be allowed. It's what's called a cenotaph. And cenotaph is a specific word for.、Um, A marker when there isn't a body there. So a cenotaph is used for when people are lost at sea or they're in fires and they can never find the remains. So it says on its cenotaph, it has、uh, our names and then it says, is, that, is this your card? And it is right there in a、um, cemetery with、um, many celebrities, movie stars. It's in Hollywood. And there you can see Penn and Teller. And the idea is that you,、um, you force the three of clubs. You then fail to find it, and then you go visit Forest Lawn Cemetery. You go see the Penn and Teller grave, and there's the Three of Clubs. And you know,、uh, in, in principle, this can be a card trick that'll still work after we're dead, which shouldn't be that much longer now. Well, the, well, the best decision I ever met was,、uh, was teaming up with Teller. I think if I hadn't teamed up with Teller,、uh, I wouldn't be a magician. Uh, the only reason I am a magician is because of Teller. Did I just say the same thing three times in different ways? I think I did.、Um, but I would, say, I, would say, I would say that's it. And after that,、um, uh, we, we made other good decisions along the way, but we didn't have as much ambition as others. You know, most people、uh, are a little bit disappointed with their success. 
we actually did better than we expected or wanted. So um, that's gone pretty well. But the best decision I made was uh, teaming up with Taylor. If lay people ask me to perform a trick, I usually, um, I mean, I always uh, uh, dodge it. I don't do I don't do close up tricks for anybody. I just don't do it. I, I have a deck of cards with me. There's tricks I can do, uh, but I never found a way to make that. I'll answer you really honestly here. Um, before 1985, before we were on David Letterman, whenever I met somebody, I would do jokes and tricks and be that kind of person. As soon as I was on TV. Uh, I found that doing that kind of stuff made people feel uncomfortable. Uh, I became uh, somebody who just said, thank you. I find that politeness works much better than trying to be a character, trying to be interesting, trying to be funny. I have a very good friend, uh, Doc Swan, a wonderful magician, who's known me for years. And he said that um, my first appearance on Letterman is when I stopped being funny. He said I was a really funny guy before that, and I stopped being funny. And I think I know what he means. Uh, I used to be funny in McDonald's. I used to be funny anywhere I was, doing shtickle. And um, uh, once I was on TV, that all of a sudden seemed rude. So now I usually, when people come up and ask to see a trick, I ask them their name, pose for a picture, shake their hand, smile, and it seems to make things um, more honest and more equal. I realize that's, a, that's not at all the answer you wanted, but I chose to tell you the truth. Uh, kind of an odd choice. Thank you.